Where in the world did you get that absurd-looking outfit? It's the latest fashion on Planet Yardred, but I guess it does look a little strange. But at least it's not pink. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Thomas. I just made a new YouTube banner, so go check it out. And today, we are talking about Hypeland X Dragon Ball Z, their latest drop, and everything else you need to know about some anime fashion. Let's get right into it. Guys, before I get started, I did my 1,000 subscriber giveaway last Thursday during my normal stream time, which is 7.30 a.m., 10.30 a.m. Pacific Eastern Standard Time, respectively. I stream during the regular Supreme season 30 minutes before the drop, so if you ever want to come out, be sure to tune in for the stream. We can talk about the drop, go for live cops occasionally, stuff like that. The first prize winner has not been selected. I will put their name right here. If this is your account, please message me and you have until tomorrow to claim that first prize or I will be redrawing the winner of the giveaway. So don't miss out. Today, guys, we are looking, like I said, at Hypeland X Dragon Ball for another episode of Anime Fashion. I used to have a channel called Anime Fashion. There's some cool videos on there. I'll link it in the description and on the card right here. But, you know, I really like the stuff that Hypeland does. They take official collaborations with various licensed brands, companies, games. They've got Dragon Ball, Naruto, Hello Kitty, etc. A lot of anime. So if you guys are into that, you're on the right video. And today we're going to look at a few items, not every single item available, because there's quite a lot. And I'm just going to give my opinions, thoughts on them. And let's get right into it. First up, we have their brand new eyes collection. They also have these in a lot of like slap stickers which are really cool to put on your car, like your windshield. You can get a big stripe of them, you know, going one after another. But really cool rhinestone right here. We got Vegeta looking very sick. We got Vegeta in Katakana, which looks very good. The rhinestones, it's definitely a look. I think it's pretty cool. Like it's a little bit higher fashion. Like it's not quite like the Zarvlowski or whatever the fuck, Zawarski. You know, those crazy diamonds that are just, or not even diamonds, they're like crystals. That's super expensive, but it looks really good on this. We also have Frieza right here. Frieza looks really good as well. It's got the, the captures, the, the elements of like the Dragon Ball battle, the stare down, the, the five more minutes or 20 more episodes. I believe this is a uh, adult or maybe teen Gohan right here. I know that's Goku sign, Go, and then that's Han, I believe. My kanji is pretty bad. Only took one year of Japanese, so limited knowledge on that. But yeah, they're very true to the show. Obviously, you can see here it's a Hypeland and Dragon Ball Z collaboration. It has that on the sleeve as well for $45, 100% cotton. Really, really cool, unique branded clothing here. I think the uh, the future trunks is probably the sickest one. Taranksu right there looks really, really sick. I love the colors. Always loved future trunks' character design. I thought the purple from Bulma's hair was really good. I wasn't a huge fan, honestly, about how they recolored his hair in Dragon Ball Super, but I've kind of just grown to accept it. But to me, the Dragon Ball Z future trunks will always be the true trunks in my heart, in my mind. And then going into another piece from their collection from Dragon Ball Z is the Muay Thai shorts. I'm only showing the Cell ones, but they also have Frieza and I think one of the heroes, maybe Goku or Vegeta, not quite sure. But that's really, really cool. It looks like something, you know, you would wear this in a, in a boxing fight. And I think, you know, Israel Alasanya definitely needs to fight in these. I don't know if UFC will let him do that. But Israel Asanya is actually a big fan of Hyplin. I think they sent him quite a bit of stuff. You can see him. I'll put some pictures of Israel wearing some Hyplin gear. But these are super sick. Got the Red Ribbon Army right there. Obviously, the patches from Cell's character design. And then you can see an actual image of Cell on the pant kind of liner on the sides right there. Super, super cool. I wish these had pockets. I don't think Muay Thai shorts have front pockets. So I really wouldn't want to get these because for me, if I'm wearing shorts, I can't have shorts without front pockets. It's just something about it. If I'm, even if I'm like doing activities and stuff, 
you know i i just need them man and, and i don't know i probably won't ever pick these up but I think they're really sick. And you can see here, they have different ones like Exodia. We got some Itachi shorts. Those aren't uh, Muay Thai shorts, but very cool collection. And here are some other similar Hypeland items. Going into their rugs, man, their rugs are probably one of the more like recognizable pieces. I see these actually a lot of times in people's collections, like in pictures, they'll have like an Itachi rug, maybe a Dragon Ball rug, a Naruto eating ramen rug. That one is very, very popular. And this one is the Dragon Ball Shenron rug or Shenlong. Really, really nice, 60 inches wide, super high quality embroidery right there. And man, if I had more space, I would certainly pick up one of their rugs. Maybe also if I could get one on sale, that would be really sick. But yeah, Hypeland rugs, they have so many great ones like the Four Star Ball, Dragon Ball Family, really really cool stuff and a really unique piece of clothing accessory i guess it's more of an accessory next up we got the shenrong pool float i just think this is funny man like why not make some pool floats they have a bunch of other ones here too like the four star ball the dragon ball family and even a beach ball these are on sale right now like this one's only 45 dollars which is still a lot for, for a float but you know down from 90 and if you consider like how many other you know anime pool floats are you gonna find in the states like of course in japan i'm sure that's much more common but over here you don't really see that too often and one of the things that i just really love about hyplin is they're really merging like cool anime and like streetwear together you know i meant to say cool clothes in anime because like you know there's hot topic and stuff but that stuff is and eh, it's borderline streetwear but it's more like mall core stuff this these items are like pretty bespoke and fairly like good looking like they actually have a element of like cool design desirability and i think they kind of pull it off really well and they have so many skate decks as well we got the Dragon Ball Z cell phases. So you can see the different forms of cell right here, which is super cool. Second form cell, which I believe was Toriyama's favorite version of cell, which is why in the new Dragon Ball movie, uh, Dragon Ball Super Superhero, the cell super cell or whatever the fuck cell X was cell max was based off of second form cell because it was Toriyama's favorite to draw. And then we got first form cell and then perfect cell with the hypeland right there looks so good man they they do a great job at changing their logo to make it really suit the piece that it's on they don't just use the exact same font every time they go above and beyond for sure and you know these are high quality skate decks like 80 bucks pretty similar to supreme and if you guys are ever looking for a new brand to cop and you're an anime fan like shit this is a really cool smaller brand that you can get involved in they got a discord and really recommend checking out hyplin next up we got their trucker hats which they have a bunch of these this one is the frieza obviously it's got that really cool kind of digital futuristic hyplin font down there frieza again in katakana with the little star in the back just a really cool like retro design on a big panel right there on the trucker got their little triple h logo dragon ball z and then the hypeland logo embroidered on the back and yeah really really cool piece i believe i've talked about this one before in a video maybe not though it's the kid boo sherpa jacket they also have a shenron jacket right here and this one is so sick because the front it looks like a classic like north face jacket like the uh denali or whatever it's called i'm so bad at the north face different piece items but you know the one i'm talking about the one that's you know black right here a different color right there it's got the pockets got the two ones right there the front zipper you know sherpa so probably not the best time to buy it right now or maybe you just want to stock up for the winter but if you're a fan of kid boo love pink or if you like shenron 148 bucks, a little bit high, but it is a high quality Sherpa jacket and they do have their specifications just printed right there, which is really, really nice to see the sizing just so easily available. Got some other stuff right here, the Dragon Ball Great Ape hockey jersey. I was just talking about jerseys in a Supreme video, talking about like the top jerseys of all time from Supreme. Man, if they made anything like this, this would definitely be on the list as well. Just the big Ozaru on the front actually get to see dragon ball right there as like 
kind of like the logo kind of a low quality image which is unfortunate like i don't know what's up with that because zooming in on this one is pretty bad but i don't know zoomed out it looks all right one nice thing about Hypeland as well, guys, is they do frequent sales, especially near Black Friday and holidays. So if you're ever holding out and wanting to see um, what stuff goes on sale, they also have an emailing list and sign up for that. I usually get a couple of emails, maybe a couple times a year. It's not a ton of spam. And then I'm just gonna go through a couple other items. You know, you guys can take a look for yourselves, see what you like. But here we got the Goku Shenron logo, which is pretty cool. We got the Hypeland Triple H's, the Dragon Balls and Goku and Piccolo flying through the sky. And it's really cool. Like I'd love to see what this process is like when you actually go and get an actual official license from a brand as big as Toei. Like, it's definitely easier today because you see Dragon Ball merch at Target, you see it everywhere, and it's very popular. But I wonder what the design process is like because certainly Hypeland is doing these designs, Toei is taking a cut, but they must certainly ascend them to be approved. I would love to get in contact with the, the founder of Hypeland. I feel like one of my friends in college said he knew him. I might get back to you on that, guys, because I would love to have more interviews on this channel. So if you like Hypeland, maybe send them a DM on Twitter. Say, hey, go collab with this guy, Sub Thomas. He loves your shit. Next up, the Dragon Ball Z Trunks Slice t-shirt. I mean, absolutely iconic moment from, from Dragon Ball Z. Future Trunks showing up, going Super Saiyan right after Goku and friends are back from Namek and Fre Mecha Frieza shows up and he just slices him in half. I love the three dimensionalness to this piece. It looks so sick. The interior of that slice is kind of shiny. It looks like it just got sliced through. Really dope. And then the logo right here on the front is like, damaged right because it got sliced through so such a nice touch i think this is probably my favorite hypeland dragon ball piece and it's available in my size so mm, just saying a couple more pieces left the bulma airbrush skate deck i love this one because it has the design on the actual front of the skateboard i think no that's, i'm wrong it's on the back like normal but it looks really cool got the airbrush style just really cool to see like kind of some other vintage styles in Hypeland's gear. The Kame House button-up shirt, also great. Very nice, relaxing kind of summer vibes on this one. I believe they have some matching swim trunks to go along with it, but just the nice peaceful Kame House. Kind of looks like a painting almost for 80 bucks. It is sold out actually, wow. So people were loving this guy. And then we also have the twin Shenron button-up. So they do have multiple items, like there's so much more tees and sweatshirts, long sleeves that I didn't even click on because they're just so similar in design, but the actual, they're so similar in like shape, I meant to say, but the designs are a lot different. So really cool. That same kind of airbrush style. We got Hypeland, Dragon Ball Super Superhero. We got Ultimate Gohan prior to Beast Gohan, which is really neat. The Dragon Ball Legacy shirt. I think this one is so good. The art looks absolutely amazing. So this is definitely all official like manga art. So they must get like some assets available to them, right? Like how can they get these high quality Dragon Ball characters? I really don't know. And that's what I want to know. Like does, does Hypeland have a guy who can draw all this stuff? Because the, these background images like Tien doing the, the Taioken, it looks really official. Like it looks like something from the manga. And then seeing the, the Nimbus Cloud right there, super, super cool. Finally, the last one, we got the Bulma Kanji shirt right there. Really, really neat, small kind of logo, kind of jumping out from a window behind Kame House again. But yeah. That's pretty much it for the Dragon Ball Hypeland collaboration. What do you guys think of this collab? Are you considering copying Hypeland after this video? Let me know each and every one of your thoughts in the comment section down below. And stay tuned for more episodes of Anime Fashion. It's been your boy Thomas and I'm out. Peace and butt grease. See ya.